we're back for part two of the Wild West themed guinea pig village build challenge here at Northumberland Zoo. On last week's episode, our maintenance team were surprised with a build challenge and they were given a certain set of specifications to help build a modular guinea pig village that we've named Hog Springs. Brian got off to a flying start with his build while Keith had to restart his by mid-morning. Jeff and Connor had their challenges. Ellie was focusing on the details and Paul was on schedule. On today's episode, you'll get to see the team finish off their first build. Then they're gonna to get to select another building for day two of this challenge. And my goodness, the competition is gonna be stepping up. So you will not wanna miss next week's episode. If you're enjoying these videos and our content, then please do remember to support us by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. Everyone needs a bit of Northumberland Zoo in their life. Right then, back to the competition. We're gonna catch up with the teams now, see where they're up to, and we're just about ready for some quality control testing. I think I've made more work for myself doing this. What'd you do? That's magnetic, got me finger in between it. We're making a bell tower. Because it doesn't have to be three-dimensional. It could just be like that. Nah, it needs to be three-dimensional. You want to do it? It's got to, it's got to have a bell in it. It'd be nice to put a natural... No, that's what my dad's doing. Yeah, I know. It would actually be... But it's See, a I solid want, piece of wood. What I want to do is I want to, I want to beat you down. <laughs> I think everybody wants to beat you down. So yeah, that's, that's the goal, I think, isn't it? Since the majority of the builds had doors and windows now, it was time for Lucy, our head keeper, to come in and do some quality control testing with our sock guinea pig. It goes in. <laughs> Plenty room for that! You can be big hairy one. Here comes the, she's quality control. It seems all the builds have passed the test and our little guinea pig fits inside of all of them. Ellie found some old recycled plastic panels from some old chicken coops to use for the side of her bank, so it was a little bit different to everyone else. Paul was cracking on really well with his build, but I noticed that a few of the specifications weren't quite right. That's not regulation size that, is that 8 inches? That's, Sorry? that's not 8 inches. No, it's not 8 inches, no. It was really weird to make it stick on. Oh, I see. Make it secure. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit naff. Is that your excuse? I could, well, I could stick a bit more on if you want. Like so, that. is that 8 inches now, is it? Well, it's 10, it's 10, inches, from the, 10 inches from the front of the building. You need to chop a piece off and have it make a little fence. Okay. The majority of the teams decided to go for the easier option of using whole pieces of wood for their builds, whereas Keith decided to go down the more challenging route of cutting the wood to the scale of the size of the building. This looks great, but will he be able to get it done in time?
My dad was way ahead of the competition with his build. He then decided that he wanted to finish his build off by burning it. We burn a lot of things here at the zoo just to try and make them look a bit more authentic. This then added a little bit of pressure to the rest of the team members who were still building their structures. Tiny windows were cut out of acrylic with the laser for each member to put onto their buildings. The church had specially designed windows which looked a little bit more churchy. As they are the underdogs in this competition, Jeff and Connor were seeking advice from other team members on their build, and they had quite a few challenges along the way. Paul's build was the next one to be finished, so Jeff and Connor were having a little spy at it, trying to see how to get their canopy fitted too. Champion in the spring. Planting, cutting, champion. for today is now over. Let's catch up with everyone and see what they think. It's a stable but it's for guinea pigs so um, I've done my best I think. We've got the old-fashioned stable with the door in the middle and the horses and that go up either side inside and got a clock on top. 
I think it looks really nice. We made a guinea pig shot to his ages. <laughs> the, main, the main thing was the frame, wasn't it? Yeah. We started with a frame, we copied everybody else because we're not, this is not one main bit. So uh, it's been a bit of a trial and error. There's been a few um, emotional moments, but um, we got there in the end and pretty good, I think. Guinea pigs will love it. Well, I built the church and I went a little bit too overzealous with <laughs> my ideas of how the church will go. Um, got a little bit strapped for time, but I think in the meantime it looks good. There's a couple of little things to finish. So just got to put the windows in, put a, put a bell in the tower. Um, but besides that, it's gone all right. It was nice, it was cool. Um, Pick the biggest one. If I was to do this build again, I would probably go with what everybody else did and just use full full bits of wood instead of cutting all the wood down to make little slats of wood. I've, I've built the, cut the, cut the, the timber first and, and made the frame around, around it so that everything sort of fit well. Otherwise I didn't want any joints in it. If I did it again, I would probably make the frame make the frame first and then put the boards on because I've actually ended up extending over the sides anyway. Um, I would have probably made the top a little taller because I like how Jeff and Connor have done theirs. I'm quite pleased with it. It's not perfect, but it's all right. <laughs> I've made better things, <laughs> but I've made a lot worse things as well. This is my bank. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out, especially uh, putting this outside the front. I'd like to improve the sides a little bit. If I was to make it next time, maybe do one, one big sheet instead of uh, three. But it's only because I just found off cuts. Did you find it quite difficult to do it, doing it in quite a short period of time? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Especially when you haven't like planned anything. Yeah, it was quite, it was quite nice. To, yeah. No, I really enjoyed it. There were still some leftover builds that hadn't been drawn that morning, so it was time to give the team another challenge. This is only half of the competition, so there's actually going to be a second part to this competition, which is going to take part next week. So, who would like to draw first? That's it for today's episode. Tune in again next week to see which builds they drew out of the hat and see the next leg of the competition. Which build is your favorite so far and which one would you vote for? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.